right? There was some big L and Sizzler comparisons. I wish I had to add to the last video, but I'm going to show them real quick before I get into the next video. Like, they really look alike right here. And there's also, according to my brother, there's a rumor that Sizzler and Turbo Belly were cousins, but that's another topic. But the topic of the video is dragons. All right, I'm back now. Like, I was asking myself, why my man, Red Dragon, if he's a red dragon, why he got a green dragon on the album cover? And somebody explained to me that the green represents the reptilians. He's pretty much telling you, you know, that he's from a breed of Nephilim. And if you observe, you'll see he also has, you know, the hybrid, the Terra nose. You see the way the nostrils flare? Yes, he was telling you that he wasn't with the humans. As you can see, there's a, um, a dragon blowing fire at a human on the album cover. And by the way, not all Nephilims are going to have slit pupils. Some of them are going to have other stuff going on. Like they might have stuff like clover-shaped pupils. Or they might appear not to have any pupils at all. They might have a dark void in their eyes. But yeah, you can see he has um, you know, the hybrid Terra nose. Watch. See? You see where it flared? Um, yeah, but I think dragons are misunderstood. I don't think all dragons are bad. I think it's just like humans. You got you got malevolent, and then you got um, good. You know, you got some dragons that's soulless, and you got some that's connected to source, just like humans. Same thing with mermaids. This right here is a website you can learn more about dragons and other mythological creatures. Or if you want to learn more about your spirit animal, I'm pretty sure they got it up here. But that's all I want to say. Just gonna be a little quick video.